the real message I want to leave is that today in Somaliland, we have half a million young people who were born in refugee camps and who in 1991 were told, your country is now free, you have reclaimed your, the sovereignty of your country, you can now grow in a country that is yours and is being run according to what is of value for your people. Recognition will come soon. We heard that in 1993 after the Borama conference. We heard it in 1997 during the presidential elections. We heard that from the international community in 2001 when we had our referendum. We heard it again when we had our local government elections and presidential elections and I don't know how many elections and so on and so on. Today, a half a million young people are at a risk of losing credibility when it comes to the international community. They are in a place where you have a powerful industry called terrorism, piracy, and fundamentalism that has a budget of over five billion US dollars a year. That massive destructive industry of piracy and terrorism is beckoning to our children and showing them a short road to go to heaven by blowing themselves up and blowing others. And ladies and gentlemen in the international community, if we do not harness the energy of our young people today in a positive, constructive way, some of them could be tempted to use that energy, that pent-up energy that they have in a destructive way. And it will be, at a, for a, it will be a loss, not only to Somalilanders and to the parents and these, of these children, but it will be a loss to the entire world. It will be a loss to democracy, it will be a loss to freedom, and it will be a loss to human rights. A half a million young people in Somaliland deserve a right to their rightful identity, right to employment, right to living in a peaceful, democratic, and stable Somaliland. <laughs> Somaliland has made its choice. First, to unite with Somalia, and then its choice to separate from Somalia. Its people have entered into a referendum, and I'm sure it will be discussed by my colleagues. The people of Somaliland have no intention of reuniting with that failed state that is Somalia. And who in their right minds, who in their right minds would want to unite with Al-Shabaab? Is that what you would like us to do? Who in their right minds would want to unite with pirates, with terrorists, with warlords? It cannot happen. It will not happen. It must not happen because that would be a loss to the international community. Somaliland can be a, a positive partner for freedom-loving people and democratic people of this world. We, can, we have shown you what we can do with very little. Which other country in the, in the world has been able to rebuild itself with its own resources and in a less than a quarter of a century has built that Somaliland today where you have just one terrorist, an old woman like me, because I can terrorize any one of you because I have the freedom to do so. I can pick up a microphone. That's what Somaliland is all about. That's what we are bringing to the world. Let us join and become friends with people who want justice and democracy. Don't push us towards those who want to destroy the free world. Don't push us towards terrorists. Don't push us towards Al-Qaeda and Al-Shabaab and all the other names. Somaliland 
is here to stay. And the sooner the international community comes to terms with that, the better. We can help you. You've tried. The world has tried 17 times, 18 times. You've had TFGs, FSGs, I don't know, all the Gs in this world to try and bring peace to Somalia, and you have failed. You took the Marines there. It didn't work. You took you, every nation, 28 nations, landed on the shores of Mogadishu to try and bring peace to Somalia. Recognize your failures, because it hasn't worked. Our system works. You're spending billions of dollars of good taxpayers' money on Somalia. But do you realize that it's not going to work? Not because you have not tried, but because the people of Somalia do not want it to work. You cannot match the industry of terrorism that they have. You are being beaten by terrorists. Give Somaliland a chance. Invite Somaliland as a partner. Give the dignity and the recognition that the Som at Somali people of Somaliland deserve. And you will see what Somalilanders can do. Somalilanders stick to their word. They have a track record of 21 years. And they will be a very strong partner and ally in bringing peace and stability to that turbulent horn of Africa. And I thank you all very much. I know the chairman is looking at me. Thank you all very much.